Hello, I'm Sidney Lumet. I'm Paul Verhoeven. This is Camille Paglia. I'm Jonathan Demi. Hi, this is McGee. I'm Mila Jovovich. Oh, my name is Peter Yates. I'm Adam uh, Sandler. This is Rob Reiner. Hi, I'm Holly Mandel. Peter Farrelly. And Bobby Farrelly. Frank Oz. Larry Cohen. Joe Dante. Barry Sonnenfeld. I'm Antoine Fuqua. Bob Zemeckis. Kurt Russell. What is this me, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Roger Corman. I'm Jan de Bone. This is Jack Hill, sitting here watching this film for the zillionth time. King Kong, Palm. King Kong Palm was something that we, you know, always liked out of Iron Monkey, and the Buddha on Lotus is something that came from Iron Monkey as well, and we just wanted to have fun with that, and thought it was simultaneously tough and sexy. I love this cut right here into this backflip. Buddha on Lotus. That's why it wasn't necessary to have this shot. You know, even if she can say she didn't want it or not, it was essential for the scene for that shot to be in. I don't think it's a problem for her anymore, the whole situation, no. because I think she feels that it really was an essential element of the movie. That specific shot almost made her star. <laughs> Inside the men's room, every kind of lesbianism and drug taking is going on. And there is Catherine enthroned again, as in the interrogation scene, this time on a toilet, where it's a kind of literal slumming as this millionaires is finding her thrills and chills in a very degenerate urinal situation. Why don't they have these things when you get on trains? Isn't, Isn't that interesting? Very... Isn't that well, interesting? Well, it's because they can't say this train is going to Havana. Oh, like no one's going to blow up a train. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Look at that. Not the first time that's happened. I would get many calls from Michael Jackson begging me to be in Men in Black. He was never scripted to be in Men in Black. I couldn't figure out where to put him in Men in Black. And eventually, through a series of discussions, we found out that what he really wanted more than anything was to wear the suit. We shot the scene in a couple of hours, and I think Michael's really good in the movie. There are, of course, very few people in the House of Usher, and there is Vincent. Vincent was very, very good. I felt uh, he was my first choice for the role, and I thought he was wonderful. After a first take, I said, you know, Meg, in order for this to work, you're going to have to really uh, work into this. I mean, it's only going to be funny if you really go after it full force. So we did it a second time, and again, she was kind of timid. And I said, uh, look, let me show you what I mean and what, what has to happen. And I sat down opposite Billy and started acting out this uh, wild orgasm, and Billy said it was like having a date with Sebastian Cabot. It was so embarrassing for me because after I finished, I realized I had had this orgasm in front of my mother, who was sitting right there. People really think that Fred's been shot. I mean, they don't know what's going on. This is for real. Look at this. People are looking. They think this guy's really hurt. But the camera's right there, so I don't know why they don't... They seem to be responding as if he is really injured, which is great. They actually drilled a hole in the tile next to the sink, and all the wires are coming out of Gizmo's butt down into the hole. Um, <laughs> Hence the high-pitched sounds. Exactly. <laughs> Gizmo. Cameron was a little bit Reluctant. uncertain of the effect that it might have. And she, I remember her saying, well, I think that everybody, a girl would know if something like that's in her hair. The problem that we have when an actor starts talking like that is, yeah, you know, the, is that they're right. And it, it becomes kind of hard to defend your position. Rudy Russo is Jimmy Stewart in It's a Wonderful Life, except that he's totally corrupt. Can you get Kurt Russell? <laughs> Remember how we rehearsed this scene? We rehearsed it in the Bellagio Hotel. In the Bellagio Hotel, exactly. We went up there. They must have thought that we had some strange Hollywood characters checking in, like uh, two guys with one woman in this bedroom. And <laughs> we were rehearsing exactly this scene here, playing around in the bed and all those kind of things. Well, this is around the time where you roll up something and smoke, and you rewind the movie, and you can't believe what you've seen, and you understand what you understand. It's a beautiful thing. We want to thank you all for picking up the DVD, sharing it with all your loved ones, rewind it over and over again. That's what it's made for.